Hello, my name's Sam and I'm one of the software engineers on the Scriptrunner team at Adaptivist. And today I'm really excited to show you some of the new updates for Scriptrunner's scripted fields. Scripted fields enable users to easily customize how the information on an issue is displayed, while also displaying information which may otherwise be unavailable by calculating or amalgamating data from one or more existing fields. Previously, scripted fields were created and stored within Scriptrunner. However, now when you create a new scripted field, we will also create a corresponding Jira custom field on your cloud instance, enabling you to configure that field anywhere within Jira's configurations, just like you would with any other custom field. So firstly, let's create a new scripted field together. So I'm going to give it a field name of hello from scripted fields, a simple description, and then just for the purpose of the demo, I'm simply going to return hello world. So notice we no longer have to test against an issue before saving. However, we do still recommend you do this just to ensure your scripted fields work correctly. But I'm going to hit save without doing so. And we'll be returned to the admin screen where you'll notice we've got our newly created scripted field and a column entitled custom field ID. And this will direct us through this link to the newly created custom field. So now let's go to a project and add this field to a screen. I'm going to do this just through the project settings, but you could also do this through the admin uh, settings themselves. I'm going to navigate to project settings, issues, layout, and I'm going to add it to the default screen for this project. And you'll see on the right here, we have our newly created field and we can simply drag it wherever we'd like. Really important to note that we can place it anywhere within the issue panel now. So within description fields or context fields. And I'm going to place it just above assignee and reporter like so. If I hit save and navigate back to the project and click on a relevant issue, we'll now see that we've got our field perched at the top here and the value of which should be calculated momentarily. And there we have it. I can now re reposition this anywhere, go back to the scripted field and edit the script to return a different value. We can also now search for issues based on our scripted field name. So if I come to here and select our field, and I'm simply going to check that it's present. If I hit search, we've returned uh, the issue and this is one we were just looking at. From here, we can now also add our field to the columns populated within the search results, like so. And now if I were to export this, whether to CSV, Excel, or any other format, uh, those results would contain our field and its value. I can also navigate to uh, our dashboards. And if I edit the dashboard, I can select a gadget and we can also add our field as a column here, like so. Now, if I hit save, you'll see that the issue that we loaded the field on has our value. These are some of the new updates available within scripted fields. We're really excited for you to start using them and thank you very much for your time.